What's up guys, it's Knight here. In this video I want to show you some of the easiest stickers you can get by just spending money in the shop. Hopefully I'll be able to point out a few that you might not have. To start, I'll briefly cover five of the most basic and obvious stickers. So here we have One Stop Shopping, Advertiser, Interior Decorator, Updated Wardrobe, and New Coat of Paint. Now, these stickers just involve buying a certain amount of items in the shop. For example, the interior decorator involves buying 8 furniture items, and the updated wardrobe involves buying 8 clothes. Now, before you go ahead and buy random items, wait until the end of the video as you may be able to get the stickers by also achieving some of the other stickers that I'm about to show you. The first unique sticker on this list is color coordinated. For this, you have to dress your chef and server in the exact same outfit, but with different colors. This shouldn't be too tricky to do because it is really easy to change the color of the outfits in the shop. However, this is definitely one of the more expensive challenges if you buy everything from scratch, as you're essentially buying two complete outfit sets. Next on this list is Bubblegum Bonanza. This involves having 10 different kinds of bubblegum in the lobby at once. Now if you want to save money on this challenge, you can play some of the Fudini minigames that has bubblegums as a possible prize. These minigames would include Home Run Derby, JoJo's Burger Slots, Rico's Chili Works, and Mitch's Mess. Now in Rico's Chili Works and Mitch's Mess, you can only get the bubblegums as a rare prize, so it will take longer to get the bubblegums if you decide to play those games. Next up is Dance Party. It involves using lots of musical furniture so that at least three customers are dancing at once. Now, I Pretty sure that there are only three musical items in the shop, so you have to make sure that you place them in the restaurant correctly in order to get three customers to dance. I would recommend either placing three in a row in the front or back row, as shown here. Now I'm pretty sure that placing them in the front row is better since it affects both lanes, and I think the back row only affects the back lanes, so place them in the front row. Next up is get the tables. This one is pretty self-explanatory, but you just have to put eight large tables in your lobby at once. You can either buy the tables or get them from the minigames. I'm pretty sure that there's only a couple of minigames that include large tables though. These would be Slider Escape and Rico's Chili Works. The last one I'll talk to you guys about is the Coupon Clipper. This will take more time than the other challenges since you can only send one coupon a day. Coupons are only $25, so I recommend just buying 10 and distributing them out over the next 10 days. To maximize value, I'd give them to customers who are about to get a medal, so you can get more points that way. That's all I have to show you guys today. I'll make a few more sticker guides if you guys are interested. Stay tuned for more videos.